everyone, welcome back. If you haven't joined me already, my name is Devin Durbin and this is the Durbin Compound. So today I was going to go through and do a little gun room tour. So uh, I have a small room in my basement uh, that's internal that I, I made my gun room. And so I wanted to take everybody on a tour. Those of you who know me have, have been around. Uh, but just wanted to go through all the ins and outs. I don't know if I'm going to make it a feature length film because I could get down into the nitty gritty with a lot of stuff in here. And then it just gets boring because I'm talking about each product and what I think about it and, and uh, how I go about it. So this is my main uh, gunsmithing bench here behind me. So I have all of my tools and all of my cleaning gear uh, on a pegboard against the wall. Uh, basically a 2x4 pegboard. So I have a a two by eight foot pegboard behind the bench here. So this video is gonna be shot in multiple different camera angles because sometimes I have stuff to put the camera on and sometimes I don't. I'm gonna be using the tripod and all this stuff to try to get the best camera angle for what I'm explaining. So um, what I'll do is I'll bring the camera up, we'll, I'll hand hold the camera, we'll walk or we'll uh, We'll do a nice pan of the of the bench area and just uh, you know everything that I have. Um, obviously, have a Wilton five inch uh, mechanics vise uh, for all my gunsmithing. So if whatever I'm doing that day, um, I can I can put in a put in a gun or whatever I want to do. I can put all of my uh, gear in the gun vise, and it's a stout one, so I don't have to worry about. Um, you know, basically out doing my vice. I've tried to do gun work with little vices and stuff like that in the past and it just hasn't worked. So this this uh, bench is completely bolted to the floor. Um, a lot of the times when you're wrenching on guns and barrels and stuff like that, you're doing a lot of, of prying action, especially with your reloading press. Um, when you're pushing back or forward on a press, um, it makes a it, it makes a table move a lot more. So I have a beam that's straight down to the floor right under my press that it's bolted to and basically have it zapped to the to the wall and then also into the floor so I've just went ahead and bolted the whole bench down so it's not going anywhere it's pinned to the floor and pinned to the wall so uh, makes it very stout basically just for my uh, for my top I used a, a, a white formica that I had got from I think my grandfather had picked up a bunch of sheets from an old store that he was working in and literally these things have sat around for years and years and years and I've just put them to use for bench uh, bench tops and stuff like that in the future so we'll pan in we'll do a close um, explanation of everything I have up on the wall I, um, if you're a gun guy you already know um, ab absolutely everything that's on the wall you don't really need me to explain to you uh, what different things are but um, all of your basic gunsmithing stuff that you would need, um, you know, upper vices, hammers, Allen keys, punches, um, anything and everything you would need to work on, on ARs, guns in general, um, just have it on the pegboard and have it uh, accessible. So really nothing to it. Down underneath here, I store my, I store my ammo, so all of my, all of my expended brass. I have it organized by caliber in Tupperware containers, so when I go to clean it, it's all in the Tupperware, and I'll bring out other Tupperwares to uh, basically sort it for deprimed stuff and clean stuff. And then when I'm ready to, uh, then when I'm ready to load, I pull that Tupperware out, and we go to town. And then uh, once it's loaded, it goes into ammo cans or or boxes. So that's just how I do it. Got all of it uh, organized there. Um, down underneath the shelf, I have my gunpowder, and then I have bullets and all of my, basically all of my reloading press gear directly underneath it. So I can easily just pull out my stool and set it down, and I go to work. Um, have all the tools necessary to run the press right then and there. Um, I don't have to worry about shuffling around. I like to keep everything localized. So all of my tools that I need to run the press or wrenches or anything like that. Are located directly behind the press so it's it's definitely hard in a gun room to not let stuff pile up on the on the uh, workbench surface I like was cleaning up for the video and I'm like why do I even have this so it, it just happens like that this is a Hornady ammo plant a fully a fully progressive reloading machine 
Um, I really love this press. Um, it's it's great. I have the uh, I have the brass feeder and the bullet feeder. Uh, it's a little finicky to get going, but uh, I really love this machine for loading pistol ammo. Uh, it, of course, everybody asks me uh, how many rounds can I do an hour. That's it seems to be the hot topic. Kind of like with the wood burner, um, how much wood do you burn? Well, it's all subjective. If everything's going your way that day, then you can easily do a, a thousand rounds an hour. Uh, if you have everything already set up and everything um, in line, you have all the bullets, you have all the primers set up, um, you're loading all the tubes. Yeah, you can make this. You can make this thing crank out some ammo, especially if you've got a buddy helping, and uh, he or she knows what they're doing and can help you along the way. Uh, it, yeah, you can crank out a thousand rounds an hour. Uh, or more so <clears throat> a press that I really recommend is it a little excessive for beginners yes it's a uh, it's a very advanced press but I, I love it nonetheless so it just uh, you basically have to have three plugs for this bad boy you gotta have a plug for the bullet feeder a plug for the case feeder and then if you want to rock a light then you have three plugs so you basically have a power strip attached to it so I guess I really didn't start in uh, in any order. I just went after it. Uh, this is a starting from the left. I have all of my all of my dies and everything that I I use in the press. I uh, got some uh, adapters, basically uh, hanging adapters from Inline Fabrication. They hang on the wall. Uh, they're pretty neat. Uh, you just literally zap them up there and, and uh, they hold whatever you want. Um, dies, anything that you're doing, if you, if you wanted to hold your uh, powder measure or anything like that, you can hold them in that too. Um, literally whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll roll over here to the other side of the room and we'll talk about, uh, talk about everything else. So, here we go. All right, so panning around the room a little bit, uh, we go into my corner area where I do most of my most of my little tinkering and anything that needs to be um, a little bit more uh, precise, anything like that, doing trigger jobs or whatever it might be. Um, I use my corner a, a lot more because I have my TV directly overhead, so um, it allows for a little bit of entertainment instead of over towards the vise where um, I'm doing most of my gunsmithing that needs to be in a vise. So. Um, basically just have my, uh, my corner set up, my trays for brushes and stuff like that. Um, just a nice little, uh, you know, your, your little wire trays that you can get for office supplies and stuff like that. Just all sorted directly below the bench. So try to keep everything like-minded together. So if you've got little tools or brushes or cleaning stuff, try to keep those relatively close by. Um, I have my boar snakes over here, so every time I, I'm trying to clean something here, I've got to go over there to get my boar snakes. So that's something that I want to improve. I kind of really want to hang my boar snakes uh, right here underneath the TV. That might be something that I do in the future, but I have to get different hooks and it wouldn't be pegboard. I've already labeled the pegboard with the label maker because of the setup I had in the old house. So the old house was set up kind of like this, it was a square room. I'll uh, roll in some footage, but um, I had two couches actually in the room. The room was a lot bigger than this room, and I had a, a full-length couch along one wall and a love, a love seat along the other wall, and I had a full L-shaped bench. And uh, basically I had my vise where my press is now, and then I had my corner, and then this, w this wall was also a bench, and I had my press set up and then I had a shelf overhead that had all of my ammo storage above it. So, or, or my, uh, my uh, brass storage and organization above it. So um, I'll roll in the, uh, basically the footage or pictures I have from the old house so that you can see the old gun room. Um, kind of set up in a similar fashion. 
I think it was kind of the same size room. It was just a uh, it might have been a little smaller of a room actually now that I think about it everything was just a little bit more compressed um, I had to use a, a, a better use of my area but let's move on past that I digress so uh, got this corner set up pretty good um, one of the first additions to this to this room was to hang all my vests up so I really had um, I had to do a lot of figuring this thing out because I wanted it to hold four fully loaded vests. Do I need four? No. But um, I wanted to have at least four um, vests up on the wall so I could just pull them off, put them on, whatever I needed to do. Um, so just based on just based on what I wanted to do that day, if I wanted to get in full load, load out, I can um, and make it quite easy. All I did was make the L brackets out of two by fours and legitimately just I, I made them a lot more stouter or a lot more stout than they really needed to be so <clears throat> did they need to be even two by fours no I could have hung them on some some wrought iron um, you know just regular brackets or something like that but put a full plywood uh, base against the wall to screw everything to so I was mounting to the stud um, and I tied into the header of the of the wall and down at the footer so it was really really stout so Moving on past that, I have all of my gear stored, um, even my even my issued gear that I have right now, like my ACH um, and my uh, and my other vest that's a uh, ACU color. So, uh, moving on to my ammo shelf, this is a really stout ammo shelf that um, I've even had to um, basically I had to fortify, uh, put a bunch of support underneath the bottom shelf because it does hold so much ammo, and then I I support it with a four x four underneath that as well so I have all my shotgun stuff at the bottom uh, most of my ammo cans are full of just uh, basically uh, loosely um, loosely thrown in brass or thrown in bullets so loose bullets are in the uh, can I'm, like tongue-tied on that one for some reason but um, then you go into rifle ammo and all of my rifle ammo from smallest to largest and then handgun ammo from smallest to largest so I just basically went through and organized everything so it was uh, easily accessible and all that stuff and then I have my magazines up on the top shelf so I've started keeping everything uh, locked and loaded because I keep a lot of stuff in the house and uh, hidden throughout the house so my hidden weapons always have loaded magazines in them all that stuff so this shelf is awful bare than what it usually is when I have all my pistol mags and and rifle mags in here whether it's ARs or AKs um, and I've downgraded quite a bit so I just uh, uh, guns haven't been my hobby lately so I just kind of revolve through it you know from time to time I'll go through the the gun craze um, and then the rest of it is just storage up on top and that's a uh, that's literally it um, nothing Nothing crazy or too exciting. That's just how I, I decided to store it because um, it took up the least amount of room. So I, I kind of like it like that. I've had it this way for a couple years now and really haven't uh, really haven't changed it up at all. All right, so panning further around the room, um, this is basically uh, my gun safe corner. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of crappy storage on top of it, spotting scopes. Um, old scope boxes and just dumb stuff that I don't even realize that I keep but I'm a hoarder so I just keep it because I might need it one day but um, this is a Liberty fat boy um, Liberty gun safe um, this thing's a this thing I think is a 90 minute safe um, pretty awesome unit this thing weighs uh, I think 1100 pounds empty so very hard to get in here um, had to take the door frame off to get it in here we actually brought it in on a dolly so it was a little crazy but this thing holds 64 guns um, if, <laughs> like thousands and thousands of guns if you just stack them in there or stack them up all kinds of weird um, but if you want them organized and, and looking good then it holds legitimately 64 long guns um, has some door pockets for some pistols um, for sake of privacy I'm not opening the safe in the video um, sorry, but not sorry, but um, that's just how it goes. As you see um, in, in videos on the on the in the future, 
I might get out some guns and, and do some do some reviews and you'll get to see what I have in the future but you can look on Instagram and, and see a couple toys but um, for the purpose of this video just not open in the safe sorry not sorry so um, yeah just overall got it got it wedged in the corner is probably the best place for it um, in my old gun room this was not something that was in the actual gun room it was in my uh, workshop area so uh, uh, rolling some pictures of that so my safe actually sat in my mechanics area where I had basically my couch and my big screen TV beside it and then uh, this was not even close to the gun room um, I had a separate storage room for ammo so there was an intermediate room in between the uh, mechanics uh, room where the safe was where I had my benches and my welders and stuff like that all uh, shoved in there and then I had an in intermediate room that went into my gun room and that's where I kept all my ammo and my vests and I had dressers full of gear stuff like that so when I came to this house I had to consolidate it all into one room so that's why it's a little maybe it's a little hokey to have a bunch of storage and just you know I don't even know what some of this crap is a lot of it is brass cleaning stuff vinegar and baking soda and salts and stuff to uh, make a, uh, make water-based um, solvent to clean your brass which is very very efficient so if you have a clean brass like that um, you can hit me up in the description but there's tons of stuff on the internet uh, to um, you know uh, guides on how to clean brass uh, and do it water-based so the rest of my room is basically just uh, my recliner and my I love me wall so um, or my two I love me walls so I was able to um, bring a lot of it here uh, I had a lot of this stuff at my old office and I actually had a lot more stuff on the walls at my old house so uh, because it was OSB so the the walls in the old gun room were OSB so all I did was zap a screw in and hang a picture on it now I'm dealing with drywall and I want it to look nice and so I put up a lot less pictures. The other one was, it looked good but it was crowded with a lot of stuff. So yeah, that's basically the gun room in a nutshell. Um, I'll have uh, stuff like uh, my air. So I have an air hose that's hooked up to a compressor on the other side of the wall. On the other side of the wall is my utility room so I just ran a hose through the wall so that when I'm running my press I can run compressed air and I can blow out my uh, blow out my reloading press or blow out a, a trigger group or something like that if I need to with air. Too easy. I put the compressor over there and then ran the hose through and then the compressor's plugged in over there. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to house it here in the room. Um, you can do stuff like that. You can do all kinds of, of little things that people won't think about. But <laughs> Alright, so one thing I didn't talk about is is my, basically my coffee table in the middle of the room. So I like to keep everything on this coffee table, I'll try to keep it decently up to date, but stuff like your Brownells catalog when you're looking for parts and things like this, or you're BSing with a buddy and you say, well, I, I forget how much that was or what, you know, hey, I got my Sinclair magazine and I can, I can quick reference all the newest stuff. When I get it in the mail or I send out for it, you know, I throw the new one away. A little quick reference for just about anything. Maybe some magazines. I'm not a huge magazine reader, but um, just basically a, a table with all kinds of reading material and and things to to uh, reference if we're BSing about something and uh, we want to get a quick reference on it. Um, do it a lot with knives. Hey, open the Blue Ridge catalog. How much is a knife that we were just talking about? Does Blue Ridge even sell it? Can I get it for cheap? Um, can I get it through? Uh, through my buddy that is a dealer, you know, all of these things. So that's what I do with my with my coffee table. Um, I'm sure that I could make it um, a lot more user friendly or or whatever. Um, I could make it like a real coffee table, and then we could just use it for setting stuff on or taking gun pictures. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't use it like that. All right. So here's the uh, the other corner of the room, uh, basically showing the the I love me wall. Um, I even have this room uh, wired for sound, so I have little JBL satellite speakers. I don't know where I have a couple of them. I don't even know if you can see it. It's not in frame, but little satellite speakers that sit on a thing, so I can uh, I can have uh, can have sound in this room. So all I do is turn a receiver on in the bar area, and uh, you know, boom, I got sound in the room. Too easy. My I love me wall, just a couple things to remind me about Marine Corps days and stuff like that. So, um, 
do I sit down here and reminisce? Eh, sometimes. <laughs> wish I was, uh, wish I was still working on birds or whatever. Um, but you know, we all have to move on. We have to grow up at some time, right? So, um, just a just a quick uh, explanation of that. I got a a, a uh, just a single recliner in here. It's my dad's old recliner from college, so it's old and beat up, but it definitely is comfortable and. Uh, rats have been in it from time to time at the old house because it was out in the barn and you know rats got up into stuff and little mice were everywhere so Rambo can chase them around but um, yeah that's basically the the room as we go around so we'll fade out and uh, we'll give you another camera angle here all right so I feel like we're going full circle so I'm um, just showing you the other corner of the room the opposite uh, area of the square so got my recliner here um, sit down and hang out and watch TV. So uh, basically just all, all the things that um, I've done in the military up on the wall. Uh, the I Love Me wall from you know my honorable discharge to um, all of my Marines that I, I put in the Marine Corps as a recruiter. It's not everybody. Um, I couldn't, it's so hard to get these these guys to bring you a, bring you a uh, photo from boot camp. Uh, maybe it's uh, Peyton who didn't want to give me a picture because she didn't like how she looked in the picture she refused to give it to me so I don't even have her picture up here I'm gonna have, I don't have a lot of pictures up here um, there's probably um, just as many pictures of, as I have I don't have because I didn't um, didn't get it from them or they didn't order wallets so I, I have everybody that I put in that I that I have pictures of so um, just uh, just something that I can always remind myself of the lives I've changed so good stuff Rambo gets his bed in here so he hangs out sometimes when um, I'm working on stuff or or doing stuff in here for an extended period of time he'll come in here and he'll you know heavy breathe and, and tell you that he's exasperated and he wants to go do something so uh, yeah so that all right guys well that ends our gun room tour so I hope you enjoyed I hope you uh, learned some stuff about uh, how I set things up and how I organize. And uh, if you like, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. So if you want, stick around. If you want to interact with me, ask some questions about the room, then I'll see you guys in the comments below, and I'll answer your questions as quickly as I possibly can. So for now, I know that my channel isn't all about guns, but this is just one facet of, of my life and one of the hobbies I'm interested in. So I, uh, I wanted to share it with you and show you around and, and we'll keep showing you around in, in different areas when, uh, when the time arises. What, definitely when it gets nice outside, we'll go outside and we'll show you some stuff outside. So I um, appreciate you watching. Hopefully this isn't a feature length film, but like always, I am, I am running my mouth, running my soup cooler and uh, get carried away. So I'll see you guys next video.